so this is just one of many raspberry patches we have in the yard and the ground is still frozen to be doing anything in the garden so I have decided to come through these patches and try and pull out all the dead canes like this one here the dead one at least I'm pretty sure I've never done this but um, these ones are vibrant and purple so I'm leaving those and I'm taking all of these ones out or as many as I can so you can see it's just kind of a a mess and last year was really hard to get in here to um, to pick raspberries and it's not just the raspberry bushes there's other thing like like this is some kind of thistle um, and those get in the way and make it difficult we don't have thornless raspberries these are wild raspberries um, we have grown in the yard and so they're smaller there's a little more seed to fruit ratio but they're super sweet and they're really good we love them it makes really good jam really good pies and so we're supposed to get a lot of rain for the next three or four days so i figured this will be our last nice day we'll come out here and do this and and hopefully it'll be easier to to pick now this patch here i have pulled almost every every cane out that pile over there is is all the dead canes that have come out um and so this one is just kind of sad looking there's not much left but i'm not worried about that with as many berries that get dropped from us picking them or the you know the berries that get dropped from the birds and stuff we're gonna have new canes coming up everywhere it's like trying to get rid of strawberries i just don't think it's possible to get rid of a all of them so that is what we're doing today if anyone has tips on on how to do it or or to make sure to tell the difference between a dead cane and one that's still producing fruit because some of them like the base will be brown but the ends will still be vibrant and purple so those ones I question a little bit whether or not to take it and I would like if I can get these thinned out enough to lay straw down to help try and smother some of the grasses and weeds that grow um, in between here just to make it a little a little easier to see and reach reach all the berries um, I mean we still have berries in the freezer from what we picked off of these things last year so I mean we get plenty so if there's a few that would produce fruit that go, that's okay. It's not, it's not the end of the world. But that's what we're doing today. So this is kind of what I'm trying to do here. So I finished thinning this patch out as much as I was willing to do. And I have taken this straw over here and started to spread it around the canes hoping that it'll help smother the grass growth so i've got it all in between and now i'm going to do a little bit around the edges um, because i can get to about this far so i don't know maybe two feet with the lawnmower no problem so we'll see if it works I don't I definitely don't have enough to even attempt this one so I figured I'd start with the smallest patch but this is what I'm trying to do whether it'll work or not is yet to be seen so in the next few days after all the rain I'll probably get a few more the few more of those bales and just keep working my way through now with this one here 
I'm not going to be able to get all the way into the middle. That's a given. But I could get all of this outer edge and just make life a little bit easier if it works when it comes to picking raspberries. Now we have raspberry canes all through these trees here. I mean, they're everywhere. <laughs> so, um, so even if these ones get thinned out a lot like this one has, we have so many raspberry canes. What, even if I spent all day picking berries every day, we couldn't get them all. So I'm going to finish this up and then hopefully in the next few days we'll get some more straw and, and we'll keep going.